hello friends today we are discussing problem in isometric projection the problem is a hemisphere of diameter 50 mm is centrally resting on top of a square prism of base side 60 mm and height 30 mm such that the curved surface of hemisphere is touching the top face of the prism draw its isometric projection this is the problem he has given you first what we have to do we have to identify the combination of solids the combination of solids are one is hemisphere another one is square prism the hemisphere diameter is 50 mm the square prism base side is 60 and height is 30 mm okay now we will see the orthographic view of the above side problem see this is the orthographic view where i have written xy line above xy line it is called bp below the xy line it is called as hp and you can see here uh, a square prism of base side 60 mm base side in the top you can see base sides of the square prism is 60 mm size and height is 30 mm you can see the in the front view you can see 30 mm in the front view and also hemisphere diameter is 50 mm you can see the diameter in the top view and next you can see here the curved surface of the hemisphere is touching the top face of the prism you can see here top face of the square prism you can see square prism 60 mm this is the top face of the square prism here the curved surface of the hemisphere this is the curved surface of the hemisphere is touching the top face of the prism you can see this is the top face of the prism for this the curved surface is touching okay from here to here the radius is 25 mm this is the orthographic view of the problem now let's do the construction first what we have to do we have to draw an horizontal line at convenient distance horizontal line and I will, I will take the reference point see I have taken this as the reference point from here towards my left hand side the base side of the square prism is 60 mm I will take six boxes 1 2 3 4 5 6 six boxes left hand side you can measure 1 2 3 4 5 6 again on the right hand side 6 boxes see here from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 again from here this end point again you have to move 6 boxes 1 2 3 4 5 6 again from here you have to move 6 boxes 1 2 3 4 5 6 I have constructed the base side of the square prism now height of the square prism is 30 mm it has been given in the problem from each corner you have to take vertical height of 30 mm that is 3 boxes 1 2 3 See again from here 1 2 3 again from here 1 2 3 again from here 1 2 and 3 see now we will join the top end points join the top end points this completes the 
square prism now we have constructed the square prism now over that we have to place the hemisphere here we have constructed this square prism 530 mm and side 60 mm over that I have to place the hemisphere the hemisphere diameter is the hemisphere diameter is 50 mm now the radius is 25 from top surface of the square prism that is 30 mm height from here to here the distance height is 25 now what we have to do we have to draw the diagonal lines here so from here we have to take height of 20 mm, 25 mm see the curved surface of the hemisphere is touching the square prism top surface you can see here the height is 25 see here how many boxes 25 means two and half one two and half here what i will do i'll draw an horizontal line I will draw an horizontal line over here and I will extend this vertical line. See here. Now this point of height 25. Here I will go back to orthographic projection. See here. It is 25. Now diameter of the hemisphere is 50 from this center towards your right 25 mm towards your left 25 top again it's 25 bottom again it is 25 from this center what i will do towards my right 25 that means two and half box one sorry half one two here then half one two here half one two here then of 1 2 now what I will do I will connect these points now we have constructed the rhombus here what we have done we have done in the previous problem we have to construct isocircle what I will do here, I will write it this one as A, B, C, D. We have to find out the midpoint of A and B and midpoint of B and C, midpoint of C and D, midpoint of D and D. Now, what is the side length? That means 50 mm, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 50 mm. Uh, half of that is 25. See here, 25 means 2.5, 1, 2, 2.5 again 1 2 2.5 again here 1 2 2.5 again 1 2 2.5 you can see here we have found and then i will give the notation this as 1 2 3 and this one as 4 i have given the notations 1 2 3 4 now what i will do now i will join a to then a to 3 same way c to 4 again c to 1 now i will call this one as o this one as o1 now i will take my compose and measure the length a to 3 I'll cut an arc touches 2 you can see here you can see here what I will do from here C to 1 
C2 1 next what I will do again O2 3 here again what I will do O1 2 Now I constructed the ISO circle. I have constructed the ISO circle. Now I'll call this one the center of this. I call this as C dash. Uh, from C dash to this curved surface, I'll measure this length and I will construct semicircle. completed almost the problem now we have to identify which are visible when you see from the front see this mark is visible see I am using the sketch pen for better usability but in the exam you should do by using the pencil see this hemisphere is visible a portion of the line is visible line is visible and this line is visible this vertical line is visible and also this vertical line is visible this vertical line is visible this line is visible and also this line is visible for you okay this completes the problem thank you friends